Thank you, Chair and dear colleagues. A number of you have addressed the issue of children's and teenagers' rights online. And for children to be able to safely live in the digital age, education and parental guidance is of essence. They need to learn to understand the internet, to know how to um, safely navigate there and keep safe themselves. They need to understand the consequences of sharing photos and personal information, of communicating with others whom they may not know, um, of cyber mobbing. They need to know about copyright and so much more. And they need to understand once something is online, it will never go offline. It's technologically simply impossible to spread, to prevent the spread of um, content online once it is out there. Nor should we ever try to control all digital information flows if we want to safeguard our and our children's fundamental rights and liberties online. And if we don't want our children to live in an authoritarian digital regime, such as being erected in China, in which, by the way, children are no safer at all. And the proposed e-privacy derogation that has been addressed violates fundamental rights, will not stand in court and will therefore do nothing to protect children. Human, financial, police and judicial means are key to protecting our children against sexual abuse and thus preventing in the first place the production of such material. And let us not forget the importance of engaging and hearing children and teenagers themselves when it comes about deciding on measures to protect them. So much is yet to be done. Let us make our contribution to guide the Commission's actions in a positive way. Thank you very much.